let's just for a minute put the judges on the spot. <laughs> I have this evil laugh that I have. So, Dele Faletau. If I remember correctly, the questions that you asked, that this year's theme is a beautiful Tonga. How can we engage people not normally involved in tourism to be actively involved in tourism? Thank you for the question. <laughs> um, yeah, actually, what I wanted to hear as a response from the girls um, was, um, and maybe I wasn't very clear on asking the question, but um, it was really about how we encourage other people in Tonga um, to see the value of tourism. Mm. Because tourism is not just an economic provider for the kingdom, but it, it's, an, it's, it's one of the, um, if you look at it from a government perspective, it's one of the ministries that actually touches everybody's lives. It, um, you know, we, we deal with the sea, with the land, um, with accommodation um, and all of the value of the, the dollars that are going into hotels or restaurants and whatnot are getting filtered down to, to, the, um, to the staff that are cooking, right. the staff that are waiting, the staff that are serving. Um, it's then getting filtered down to um, the farmers who are producing the food. And there's an importance too in terms of um, how we develop laws because um, for example, if you want to get married in Tonga and you want to promote a, a, a wedding, Tonga as a wedding destination, for example, um, then you need to adjust the laws. So tourism touches every, everything. Um, and I think it's important that we should um, encourage everyone to understand that. Um, tourism, uh, a few years ago, the ministry had um, a very good theme, which was tourism, tourism is everybody's, everybody's business. business. That's right. right. Um, well, it stuck with us too. <laughs> Um, so that was a, the question that I was looking, the answer I was looking for, for that part. And um, I think secondly, about what distinguishes Tonga from other countries, um, I think for me personally, I would say without doubt, the biggest distinguisher is our culture. Um, we're, uh, we are a true culture, we're a living culture. Tongans are Tongan every day. Um, we don't necessarily have to put on floor shows and things like that. Um, people just need to, to come here, meet with us, interact with us, and they see that we are the friendly people, um, that um, we are a very caring nation, and we are um, rigid in our beliefs, in our customs. Thank you. Judge number two, you know your question. NCD or non-communicable diseases is a major problem, not only in Tonga and Pacific, but in the Pacific as well. Um, what can you do to address the issue? Thank you, Melanie. I was hoping that one of the girls would um, highlight two important things that have happened recently apart from the Pacific NCD Summit. Um, and that is, first, His Majesty's statement to the opening of Parliament this year, including <coughs> NCDs as, as one of the pressing issues that um, the Legislative Assembly needed to address. So it's a nation um, initiative that needs collective impact. Um, in addition to that, there is a um, national NCD strategy um, that has been launched, which the girls have highlighted the main components, which I'm quite impressed with your answers, which is physical activity, dieting, smoke, and alcohol. And um, it not only has an economic impact, um, because the majority of our budget goes to education and health, the more sick our people are, the more expensive it becomes for government, which means that money that could have been used otherwise more usefully um, has been redirected to health, but it also has the social impact um, on our whole community. It, um, there are small actions that we can all contribute to, but um, I'm quite happy with the answers that we received today. Well done. So, Lacey, yours, if I recall, was the protection of the environment. That's right. Um, you know, the environment, it's, it's very important. You know, it's uh, one of the global themes worldwide today. And just looking at, uh, I thought, the answers we got from the girls were 
fantastic. It was a mixed bag, but different strategies. Um, I think, you know, we're talking about tourism and it's everyone's business. I think the environment is everyone on a larger scale, you know, because it affects everyone, whether uh, health, and we need to work together, agencies, communities, families, all those things. Um, and we've got to start to do it now because the only then that we can make a better future for the, ch for the children of tomorrow. Um, lastly, I'd like to see, um, and this is just me, plastic bags. Can we ban those by 2018 or something? <laughs> okay, okay. They're a menace. My love with those Joey, yours was on culture. Um, I can name about 500 things. <laughs> Of course you can. <laughs> that makes Tonga so special. Um, one thing I was very proud of um, I mean, international arena, um, meetings and all that. At the UN and wherever I go, I wear my Tongan culture. That's right. I, I wear my Tongan Tawala, and they always ask, do you have to wear that every day? I said, honey, we're tired of wearing it, but it's our culture and it has to be worn. Whether you like it or not, men and women wear skirts and they wear these mats. Yeah. You know, and, um, um, and, and, and another thing, women play a very high patriarch role. O kwa kwa hamea kwa fahu, ifisi, beko hamoa, beko nuusila, Amerika, hafe ito ima amani, kwa kwa hamea peheya, eh? Kaya iha, ba peo fa e tangata, ba alwa pa tangata iya fahu, ikai kwa fefine iya kwa lato fahu, eh? Ba kwa ya ya, une makwe langi langi ihe mea kotoa, eh? That's one thing you need to be proud of. And another thing, music, I mean, I'm speaking from the musician side. Hey, automatically, everybody's when it comes to automatically how we are going to harmonize? Eh, we can't make it. What I feel that all the people here, all the people here, 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 those are just a few things that I wanted to highlight. Thank you. Lupe, would you care to elaborate on yours? Education. Well, I think uh, it's very apparent that every contestant has the priority for receiving and getting their own education. So that's very commendable. Um, personally, as I think about the question I asked, the value of an education is to bring new ideas, to challenge our old ideas, and to help us create better ways of living. And so I think related to unemployment is definitely the opportunity to use education to bring the best of many different perspectives and create or to continue. You know, I, I am so grateful that I had a father who valued education, but he never stopped going to Uta. Mm. And that's probably why I was dying to come to Donga and live here, because I believe he brought the best of both worlds. What you can learn from plowing the land growing your own food, um, and the appreciation you have and the connection with God and nature, and bringing that with academic learning, uh, I think is the best of both worlds. And then you take that and you create something. If we can bring what education can offer, hopefully we can get more young people who see that life can be much more with work. Ladies and gentlemen, our panel of judges and the answers they were looking for. I now have the results um, of uh, this afternoon's pre-pageant interview. Um, I will call them out in no order whatsoever.
So um, once I do, please come up on stage so that, okay, you can just stand up where you're seated and so that the crowd can have a look at you. The top five in the results of uh, this afternoon's Miss Heilala pre-pageant interview, Miss Tonga China Friendship Association. Miss <laughs> Bo's Fashion. <laughs> Miss Lady Maria. <laughs> Miss Five Star Finances. and Miss Low Miley Lodge. That is our top five um, in this afternoon's Miss Heilana pre-pageant interview in random order. So um, we look forward to the rest of the competition.